In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to uh, keep account of your visitors and display it on your website by a simple quote provided by 000webpost.com. We are going to start by uh, first logging in to your account and going to your uh, site uh, cPanel. We are going to scroll down to our stat tracking code uh, icon. When you get to the web page, uh, you need to make sure you read all the steps. Uh, one is to choose the counter design that best matches your site color. And two, hit the uh, hit counters and visitors tracking HTML code will be generated. And then we're going to copy that code and paste it to your page. So first, let's uh, scroll down and see which colors are available. And then we'll bring our site up and then try to match the colors. I think for this, uh, we're just going to go ahead and use the majority color here, which is the background color, and try to match our stat uh, tracker with that color. Once we make our color selection, uh, we'll go down to the Get Code button and click on it so we can get our code. What we're going to do now is we're going to scroll down, copy our code, and paste it into a notepad and save it as a text file for later use. The next step is to put the actual code into our template. Uh, since this site is using the website builder template, we are just going to put it in the actual template instead of doing what it says here to paste it in every page. Uh, by utilizing the template, we can just use it to one spot, and then it doesn't matter how many times we generate a page based on that template, it's going to generate that code, and it's going to keep track of our visitors and the whereabouts. To do this, and the simplest way will be to use the uh, triple zero web post.com's uh, file manager and use the current editor and just paste the code on the template and this is the step that we're going to be doing we are going to go back to the C panel and access the uh, file manager once here at the C panel we're going to scroll down to the file manager we are going to log in uh, using our FTP login information Once in the file manager, we are going to go to our root uh, file uh, folder that is uh, public HTML. Once we are in our root uh, folder, uh, we're going to scroll down to our template that we want to add our code to. We are going to select the check mark and then scroll to the right and select the link that has edit on it. So we have accessed our template and we have it in front of us. Now we need to find out where exactly we want our code visitor to be. So we need to go back to our website and look at whether it will be an appropriate place. Again, the visitors are going to know that they're being tracked by this code because it's going to be visible. So there's no point of hiding it all the way towards the bottom. So once you find an acceptable area, uh, take note of where it's at and then we're going to show you how to use it. Uh, 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 to find the location here and find it and place your code in, in that area. So scan through your page. This is your template page. Your site will always look like this regardless of the content. It will always be the same size. Not unless you have content that's not going to have, that's not going to be able to fit in this page. Nonetheless, find an area that you want and focus on where you want it and find the header for that area. That's uh, how we're going to use in, in our process here. We're going to identify that we just want our code to be on top of the news uh, header. Okay. 
once we selected our news header, we are going to go back to our file manager editor, and we are going to look for that header by doing the find function uh, within uh, our browser. Once we find a header code, uh, we have identified where we are going to put our actual statistics uh, code for a visual uh, monitoring. Uh, here is where we'll be pasting our code right above the news header. Okay, once we have made the change and pasted our code in there, we'll go ahead and scroll all the way to the top and save the file. Now that we saved the file, now we go ahead and go back to the original site and test it by reloading it and see if the code appears this time. As you can see, I am the first uh, visitor for this site, and it's working, uh, and I'm keeping track of my visitor. Thank you. Please visit us at www.simple-web-consulting.com.